Breaking news tonight at 5, closing arguments in the Joseph Elledge murder trial will start tomorrow morning. The defense finished up its last piece of evidence just after 3 o'clock today. ABC 17 News anchor Lucas Geisler is live at the Boone County Courthouse for us tonight. Lucas, both sides will now go over what charges jurors might consider convicting Elledge of. Deborah and Zach, we know Elledge right now is charged with first degree murder. That comes with just one punishment for this case. That's life in prison without parole if he's convicted of that. But we heard defense attorneys say last week that they want the jury to be able to consider lesser charges like voluntary manslaughter and involuntary manslaughter. That's why this process is going on right now that we're talking about coming up with jury instructions. Now, if that also means that once the jury, once both sides settle on jury instructions for this, the judge will give those first thing tomorrow morning when the jury gets in the room. Then closing arguments begin. Prosecutor Dan Knight has said before that his closing arguments might take more than an hour long. Then the defense attorneys will get a chance to give their closing arguments right after, and the state prosecutors then get the last word right after that. All of that is set out with a time limit that the judge adheres to as they go through. Now, earlier today, the defense presented their last couple of witnesses, and that include the last thing we heard from Joseph Elledge on the stand this morning. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell was in court for us this morning, heard all of that, heard all of Joseph Elledge's several hours of testimony he gave over two days, Layla, and the prosecutors really drilled in on the night of G's death. Yeah, Lucas, so if the people watching remember, Joseph Elledge said Monjiji's accident was a tragic accident. Now, the prosecution today intensely questioned Elledge, trying to get to the bottom of how G was killed. Did you hit her with a toolbox real hard to come down straight on that back? No. Did you maybe stand up on top of her and jump on top of her back? No. Today, Dan Knight questioned Elledge on what happened the night of October 8th, 2019. The night Elledge says he accidentally killed Meng Shi Ji. Did you suffocate her? No. Did you strangle her or cause her to urinate on the bed? No. You admitted there was urine on that bed, correct? Yes. Elledge admitted to straddling Ji on their bed in order to give her a massage. I'm sorry, what? I straddled her. Yeah. And she was lying down. She's now on. She is now extremely vulnerable, correct? Uh, uh, I don't know. G's remains were found with multiple broken ribs, and Knight questioned Elledge several times on how G got her broken ribs. The defense stated the broken ribs came from an animal stepping on her remains in the gravesite. Knight then moves on to Elledge's version of events. Did you push her hard or not, Joe? I did. How hard did you push her? Demonstrate. Let's see it. Do it with your hands. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to push her hard. Knight asked Joe if he knew for certain that Monji hit her head. Elledge admitted he wasn't certain. Layla, Jennifer Bukowski, criminal defense attorney, told us yesterday that she felt the defense had to put Elledge on the stand to even get the jury to consider things like voluntary or involuntary manslaughter. Yep. We will see how that process goes tomorrow morning. For now, reporting live here in Columbia, alongside Layla Mitchell, I'm Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News.